Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's holiday me video is going to be my DIY winter spa pamper routine. Just the products I like to use, a DIY scrub, and how I like to pamper myself during this busy holiday season. So let's get to it. I'm going to start by lighting this peppermint Mrs. Myers candle, and I'm also going to be extra and diffuse some oil as well. I'm just mixing orange and eucalyptus in my doTERRA petal diffuser. I'll link it down below. But this just smells so fresh and wintry, and I have been loving it. Then it is time to start pampering pampering myself. So I'm going to pull my hair back and up out of my face. And I'm not wearing any makeup, so I don't really need to take off any makeup, but I am going to cleanse my skin with this Garnier Micellar cleansing water before I put on a mask. I don't love micellar waters. I've mentioned that before, but it does help clean your face just to get it ready for treatments. So once my face is all clean, I'm going in with my new favorite mask, the Bosha Luminizing Pink Mask. It's a peel-off mask. Not only is it so fun and pink, but it leaves your skin feeling amazing. So I'm just going to put a pretty thick layer all over my face avoiding the eyebrows and just any hairy areas because it is a peel off and that will hurt. So once that's on, I'm gonna let it dry for 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing Epsom salt slash scrub for your body. So you're gonna need some Epsom salt, some sea salt, some coconut oil, and some peppermint oil, and then optional red food coloring if you want. So I'm taking a cup of the lavender Epsom salts, try to use lavender because it smells amazing, and then equal parts of the sea salt. Then I'm taking a third a cup of melted coconut oil and then the peppermint oil not too much the coconut oil the lavender and the peppermint seriously smell so incredible trust me and try to use this exact same recipe so i'm just mixing that all up and then if you want to be extra if you're making it for a gift or just to look pretty for yourself separate the batch into halves and dye one bowl red or pink um, my dye is a little bit weird because it's gel food coloring so don't mind that but once i get it worked in it does come out a nice light pink color. Then I'm just gonna take a mason jar and just layer. So I'm putting in a layer of white and then a layer of pink, so on and so forth, all the way to the top. And this is an amazing body scrub, but you can also use it as an Epsom salt in your bath, which is what I'm gonna be using it as today. So again, it would make a really cute gift if you are looking for a last minute DIY gift as well, or if you just wanna make a jar for yourself because it's literally amazing. And trust me, this smell is everything. I've really come up with a good combination here. <laughs> So once all the salt is in the jar, you're just gonna put the lid on and twist it on and there you have it, a very cute candy cane Epsom salt body scrub. And then it's time to run my bath. So I'm just putting on my bath. I put in a small chunk of a candy mountain bubble bar, which creates really nice stiff pink bubbles. And then I'm going to add some of my Epsom salt to it, which Epsom salt has a lot of great health benefits you can google it but it's just really good for your sore muscles and such so i'm gonna put in a couple spoonfuls of that then i don't like to take a bath with this mask on because it can get sweaty and hot and then it doesn't work so i'm peeling it off beforehand oh mother of god which i will say this mask is quite painful but i like it because it comes off really evenly and then your skin feels amazing i just take a warm washcloth and kind of rinse away anything that didn't come off when it was peeling off but it just feels really good then I'm going to take my bath and I'm using the Lush New Sweater Weather Bath Bomb, which is really pretty and it smells very Christmassy. It has those two little reindeer on it and it just bursts into color in your bath and it's really pretty. Then after the bath, I change into some fresh clothes and I'm going to start my skincare. I'm using the Aroma Water Toner Water from Lush. My skin has been so dry and that's gonna be the theme of my skincare right now. So I'm just misting that all over my face. Then I'm going in with the Lush Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. You guys know I love Lush Lip Scrubs and this is their Christmas release. And I'm just going to slough off any dead skin because of course my lips are dry as well. So I'm just going to do that. Then I'm going in with the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. You just pump it up. I love this packaging. It only gives you as much as you need so you're not wasting any. And I am just putting that all over my face, all over my dry skin. I am gonna go in with an oil a little bit later, but just putting that all over my face and whatever's remaining on my hands 
runs down my neck. Then I'm going to moisturize my body with this Aveeno Shea Butter Moisturizer, which I'm loving. I'll talk about it more in my favorites, but I'm just gonna use this literally all over my body. Then I'm going to deodorize with the Schmitz Rose and Vanilla Natural Deodorant and mist myself with some Moonlight Path Body Spray and then go in with an eye mask, because again, everything's dry, especially under my eyes and my eyelids. So I'm just popping these on. These are really nice and moisturizing. You can put them in the fridge beforehand. And I just love them. So I'm slapping those on and then I'm going to put on some of my Christian Dior Creme de Rose lip balm that I love that's way too expensive, but it works. So I'm slapping that all over my lips. I don't know why I'm slapping everything on today, but after 10 minutes, I'm just going to peel those off or however long you want to wear them for. Then I'm going in with that oil I was talking about. This is the Pixie Rose Oil Blend that I love so much. It smells so good and layers on top of moisturizers really well. Got to get the hair out. So I'm just going to really douse my face in moisture. I also have a dry patch in between my eyebrows, so that's what I was doing there. And so yeah, just moisturizing everything. And then I'm going to end with this Yes to Blueberries eye firming treatment. I just find this really moisturizing and I'm just gonna put it on my ring fingers, put it underneath my eyes as well as on my eyelids because I have literal dry patches. It's awful. But after that, that is it you guys. That is my DIY winter spa day to relax during the holidays. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in a couple of days and I love you guys. Okay, bye.